All right, so the, principle, uh, the principles of being in the witness there and the observer when things are going on. So first of all, like if you're, if you're, if you're experiencing anything, uh, uh, you know, also we can talk about thinking. Thinking, for me, if you don't identify with your thought processes, for me, like thinking, it can be different for everyone. It's more like an energy in the head. It's more like attention to the to the to the area around the head, or it can be or it can be thoughts. But if you go to that which is observing thoughts, there is that which observes thoughts, which is not interested in any thoughts, which is not hooking into thoughts. And as soon as you go to that plane, that witnessing field before thoughts, which witnesses thoughts, and you let go of being interested in any thought, forget being interested in them, they're not interesting. As soon as you become interesting in the, interested in the field of thoughts, you hook into one of them. So be in that field which observes is not interested in any single thought, it just watches but doesn't want to even hook into any thought. That gets rid of thoughts. So be in that which is witnessing thoughts, be in the detached witnessing, so forget the thoughts, don't go thoughts. Now if there's... Um, what if there's like pains, uh, sensations in the throat chakra or the solar plexus chakras or whatever it is? Okay, so those are like, now it just depends. One could be dominant or they could both be sort of equally there. It doesn't really matter. Um, if it's one seems to be dominant, sometimes it, you, you're just being, just become aware of that as an object. So just like a, a mug is an object, like the throat chakra, it's got a it's got a shape. It's got a thing. Even if it's a throbbing, it's got like it's a throbbing shape. Mm. Or if it's like a stuck energy, or even if it's coming going in and out, it's getting stronger and then weaker, stronger and weaker. But that's also a changing object. So let's say it's a changing object. Even if you have a changing object, like if I um, if I had a ball of blue tack and I changed it in front of you, the shape of it. Is the observer affected if I change the shape of it and I mess around with make it bigger and smaller? No. The observer doesn't really care. It's getting worse, it's getting, it's getting small, it's going away, it's nearly gone out, it's coming back again. So, so, but there is something that observes the changing fluxing object, which is not the changing flux. So, so it can sometimes seem like when something is changing or something is intense, it's like something wants to, something wants to hook in. Mm. Oh, it's changing. This let me hook in because it's changing, or, 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 or it's going and coming, or whatever it is. But actually, even if it's a changing shape, not a static shape, there is that which is observing that change, and something that's not hooking into the change, something that's witnessing the change. So then be the, okay, so if in this witnesser, if the change is being witnessed, but it seems that witnesser or observer is somehow related or is somehow hooking in to the phenomena, then go to the, the observer of that observer. Because there has to be an observer here, even if it's changing or changing or doing all the There's two, seems to be two shapes or two chakras, or it doesn't, chakra is already a label. But even if there's two balls of energy, there is that which is observing it all. And there is an observer which is observing without being interested in what's happening. As you get to the observer which ha is not trying to hook in at all, it starts to disappear. Because for the, when the observer, you know, you can get to an observer where there's detached neutrality, where it seems to be aware, but if you keep going to the observer of that, it'll start to dissipate because there is an observer where an observer is not interested in what's going on at all. And when the, you're into the observer where it's not interested, it start, it'll disappear because you have to like identify. So hence the thing of going into the deeper observer. So any sensation will have a location, even if it's changing, be the observer. If it's coming and going, there's an observer that sees it's coming and goes, which is not related to the observer. And if you can get to the observer, there is another observer. If the first observer, it's, it's gone or it's detached, and you're in peace, then that's fine. But otherwise, 
the more you go to a deeper observing, the more there is that freedom. The, if you, and if you, if you get hooked back in and you're back out, you hook back in to the sensation and then you're out back into the witnessing of it, then go to the observer which observes hooking in and out. There is an observer that sees being hooked into something and then being back in the observer. But there's another observer that's watching this in and out, which is not being affected by being enticed into something and then being free of it and being enticed. But there's something that watches that which is not interested in the in and out of all phenomena that come and go.